All right. The very next step is mastering the art of evaluating. Okay? Now, I want you to understand something. In order for you to evaluate real estate, it doesn't take four hours to work on a deal. Most of the real estate trainers today teach you some interesting tactics, but they almost call it like this is the only way that you will evaluate a property. It is not true. There are three stages to evaluating a property. We're going to talk about that. <clears throat> the very first one that I'm going to teach you as we start going through that, it's the whole intent is not for you to determine the value and go four hours into your research on one property. Because the fact is, chances are you'll have to look at 10 to 20, 30 properties before you find one solid deal, right? So what happens when you're spending four hours evaluating each and every single deal? You're wasting time. You are wasting time. And guess what? Time is what? Money. money. Time is money. And so now if you do what all these other people are telling you to do and you're evaluating every single deal, what happens? You've wasted time and chances are you're not going to get a deal done. And I'm going to tell you a real story. This is absolutely real. I was working with some clients, and I was introduced to a gentleman who, quite frankly, he knew his numbers. I mean, it was incredible. Ch chances are he even knew more than I did about the numbers. I mean, it was just incredible how well he knew his figures. And when I first started talking to him, the, I mean, just the way he talked, I'm thinking, well, he's a player. So we're talking, and we're going back and forth. Oh, man, he starts rambling, you know, the debt service coming, great, you know, the NOI, and I'm just like, oh, this guy, he knows what he's doing, this is great. Finally, I get to talk to somebody who's not a moron, you know, joking, you know. <laughs> but we're talking, and next thing you know, a couple of triggers come in. One of the things he said, oh, you know, this year alone, I've uh, evaluated over 585 deals. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, wow, are you serious? So now I'm seeing no wind. I know that I can look at deals fairly quickly and I'll, you know, evaluate, but the way he's talking about evaluation is almost like doing the due diligence. So this man either has a significant amount of cash where he can buy 500 deals, or he's in the process of buying 500 deals, or this guy hasn't done a single deal. And so I said, wow, this is very impressive. So to have evaluated the properties in the way that you're describing to me, you must have had 500 properties under contract in the last year. That's impressive. How many have you closed on? They were never in a contract. They were never in a contract? Jeez. Why in God's name were you trying to get the rent rolls on a property you do not have under contract? Why are you trying to spend four, five, six, seven hours evaluating a property that you don't even control? And see, that's the biggest mistake, is that when they start teaching you about due diligence and run your numbers, they forget to tell you that there's really three stages of the game. And if you're using all of these stages at once from the very beginning, you are not going to find a solid deal. You just can't because you'll be spending way too much time on deals. And by the time you're done evaluating a real deal, the deal's gone. So what I want to share with you is the real way of how you evaluate a commercial property and the stages that will be within the process.